morning guys, what's up? It's your boy Alan Wade, thank you for joining me today. We have a special day today because for a long time, all year last year, we've wanted to upgrade our brother SE600, but we haven't been able to do so because we haven't had the financial means to do it, or the extra money I should say. We wanna be responsible with our money from here on out. So uh, now we are blessed with the opportunity to own a brother PE800 and I'm looking forward to teaching you guys a whole bunch of stuff as soon as I learn more about this machine because it's my first time having it, never had it, never used it, never operated it. So let's uh, open this up together and share this experience, shall we? All right, um, I don't have anything sharp. No, uh, be right back. Here we go, all right, got some little baby scissors here. So let's open this thing up together, guys and girls. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up right now before you start watching and get into it. Go ahead and just give this video a thumbs up right now. I appreciate it, everybody. All right, so we're gonna share this together. All right, so this is what it looks like on the inside right here. Can you guys see that? Let me see my phone. Let me see if it's, the shot's framed up correctly. All right, that's be my reference right here. So this is what it looks like right here, boom. All right, you see that? Boom, ha ha. This is what you get. Get the thick instruction pamphlet. We'll be taking a look at that a little bit, not too much. Um, you get a cover, looks like a cover for the machine. Uh, you get this five by seven hoop. That's pretty cool, five by seven hoop. You get a power cord. You get, looks like a bobbin, some thread. Some thread, you get some thread. It says made in Japan on top. You get some miscellaneous package. I guess that has feet and stuff like that in the side of it. And something at the top here. I think that's it. All right, now, okay. Okay, so now take off the top. Nothing is in here, big styrofoam right here. Set that to the side. And you see our machine right here. Guys, this thing takes up a lot of room on the table. So we'll see. First thing we're gonna take out is this part right here. And this is the embroidery part right here. Embroidery part. This is our embroidery part of the machine. So you guys can see. Nice and big, looks like this door might, no, it's no door. Just looking around it, just checking it out right here. That's the embroidery part. Let's take her out of the box. Got a nice handle at the top. Sit her on the table. Look inside and see if there's anything else in here. Nothing, that's it. Boom. This back in here. Boom. Put this to the side right here. Oh, first impressions of the brother PE800. Um, from watching everybody else have it on YouTube versus me seeing it in real life, it's a lot beefier than I'd imagine. It's a lot thicker. Um, I don't know if the camera can show that, but it feels a lot more. It's heavier than the S than the uh, SC600. Yeah, it's heavier. It's it's a lot thicker. It feels a little bit more like a solid construction. Not to say that the PE, I mean the SE600, didn't have a solid construction, but it just felt a little bit, a little slightly, a bit flimsier than this. If you haven't done so already, please hit that like button. I greatly appreciate it, thank you. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna start taking off all the tape and put it together. All this stuff gotta come off, so. Start taking it off, take this off, put that to the side right here. That's what you gotta do, all this blue tape has to come off so that all the moving parts can move. One over here, over here. I'll take that off. Oof. I'm excited. All right. 
that's everything over there. And from what I gather, this comes up. Yep. There's a part, tape right there. It's a memory card slot right here. Boom. This comes off of here. Get the tape off of that. All right. Boom. Give this video a thumbs up real fast if you guys are getting the experience. I want you guys to get the experience. I want to feel like you guys are uh, buying, uh, opening up this machine with me, like it's this, like it's this, this is yours or something. There's like a little lever at the back here, which is cool. That raises and lowers the presser foot. That's different from um, our lever on the side. This is a lot beefier. I mean, look, look right here. Like you can grab the whole machine with your hand right there. I mean, I got so um. Immediately I know that this slides into here. Underneath there should be a lock, just like the other one. Yep, there's a lock right there. So this slides into here, and our machine is pretty much assembled. This thing is huge, like the battleship. And if you squeeze that lever, that pulls out. Yep, just like before. Same situations. Line it up, slide it back in. Yep, hey, I don't wanna break it, hold on. Just got this joan. All right, slide it right in there. Why is it hard to slide in? Slid in the first time. Don't wanna force anything, guys, all right. All right, boom, do that one more time. For those of you who have the, um, the uh, PE800, is it hard to slide that in like, like it was for me just now? All right, so let me open up this bag and see if the bag fits over top of the whole machine. Let me tilt the camera up a little bit, sorry guys. Tilt it up a little bit so you guys can see more of it. Boom, there you go. All right, so boom, here's the bag that it came with. And I hope this bag can fit over the whole entire thing, which it looks like it can dust cover bag, which is cool. It says brother on it. So that's cool. Keep the machine covered and keeps the dust off of it. This machine is long. It's cool, set it to the side. Let's see what other goodies we got up in here. Mm -hmm. So you guys see everything that's, that came with this thing. All right, here's the uh, five by seven inch hoop right here. Boom. Out. Interesting. It's a five by seven inch hoop. And what I'm noticing is this hoop goes straight through. It's not interesting. This, I think that's different from the other ones. Hmm, can you see? Here's my four by six. Yeah, this one has like a lip that it sits on. This hoop right here, it goes straight through. Is that like, supposed to happen that's weird so I guess the material would stop it from going through I don't know but okay so let me set this aside so you guys see better so you got your hoop right here all right and of course you got your grid this comes in handy when you're lining stuff up guys believe it or not this little grid right here that yeah that helps you line stuff up all right um all right power cord of course and you don't get a, a foot with this because obviously it's a, just an embroidery machine. So here's your power cord right here. Put that right here. You guys see that? That's it, so you guys can see everything. Boom, power cord. And here's all the little attachments. Let's see what we got inside of our package here. A little batter note. It's like a silver bobbin stop type thing. I don't know, some more scissors. Look familiar, looks familiar, right? Looks familiar. Mm -hmm. Let's just dump it out. All right, all the necessary tools. Got a few bobbins. Got this thing right here. Got a brush to clean out the machine. Got a key to take off the, um, to take off the foot, the um, embroidery foot so you can clean it. Got a, Screwdriver, take off the embroidery foot. 
Um, oh, this is to take off the screws to, to take the plate off if you want to take the plate off the machine. This is a bobbin keep when you put it at the top. This is a, um, uh, so you can get the loose threads. I forgot what it's called. And, and a flathead screwdriver. All right, so that's it. And some, and some needles, some embroidery needles. And then this uh, keeps its thread together. So yeah, guys, we, we got, this is it. And of course the instruction booklet. All right. This right here says, your chance to win a thousand dollars has never been, has never been easy. Not easier, but so you just enter in and try to win a thousand bucks, I guess. So that is it, guys. We have our brother, PE800. Thank you guys for watching this quick unboxing. I'm excited. I can't wait to start doing stuff with it. Um, I'm happy because it functions just like the SE600. PE800 functions just like the SE600. So I'm familiar with the whole uh, way it op functions and operates and stuff like that. So I can't wait to start doing some applique surprise supplies. This handle's bigger than the other one too. So um, man, oh man, oh man. All right, so I'm gonna, not gonna end the video here. I'm gonna open up some other stuff with you, some small miscellaneous things for the Jeep. But um, thank you guys for joining me. Let, why don't we take a look around the machine real fast, hold on. All right guys, so I like to show you guys, try to get you guys a better experience than anybody else on YouTube gives you. So let me try to, you know, show you guys around the machine a little bit. See right here, let's get a little closer. Um, right here, see you got this little spool. Um, typically when you put your bobbin in here, you push this over and that switches the machine into a uh, bobbin winding mode. So maybe that's the same thing, I'm not sure. All right, and then you got the illustration that shows you like what to do, like here's one right here. So you put your thread in here and for example, let me get you over to top view right here. All right, so you put your thread in here, right? There's your spool say stopper, saver. Put your spool in here and then you put that on top. On my SE600, I never used this thing, but maybe I should start. So you see one tells you to go right here, then you go under, the illustration just shows you what to do. Around, that's two, uh, where's three? Two, wait, one, under, and then I guess you can go here to, if you're doing two, depends on which one you're doing. If you're doing two for one and a bobbin, you go here, and then you go through here, over, and then you go four, which is around the bobbin, boom, and under here and then you push it over here and then it winds the bobbin when you press go on the on the screen down or, or on uh, you yeah, on the screen. But um, if you are embroidering, um, put the spool in here and then you go one underneath, then the second two, see there's two twos? One is for winding the bobbin, the other one is for embroidering. So under here, around, but I still don't see a three. Two, I mean one, two. Yeah, I'm gonna have to figure this out because it goes two to four. Four is right here. I don't see a three for, for embroidering. Oh, I see it, I see it. It's all the way down here. Okay, so one, two, all the way down. The bottom right here, it says three. So around, up, this is four, and I guess it catches on the inside and around, back down, 
and into the loop and then you boom yeah yep yep oh that's really sharper than the other one there's your three and what i was doing just now is like this little thing right here, the lever on the side that normally threads the machine this like it's like a higher quality one right here the way it like the other one doesn't do that on the se 600 so this is going to be very, very interesting using this machine. It seems like a high quality machine, guys. Um, I'm going to put the link in the description if you guys want to purchase one. Because you guys already know, now that I have this machine, um, you can depend on me for learning how to use it. Because I'm going to make a bunch of videos um, on how to use this thing. Um, you got your wheel right here. And as I turn the wheel, you can see that. Because, yeah, you can embroider using the wheel. You don't, you know can freehand embroider using just the wheel if you want to. Yep. Um, and over on the side, let me turn the machine to the side a little bit. You have, here's the wheel I was just turning. You have your on off switch. You have your uh, USB in input insert. So when I sell the, you the USB files on allenaway.com, you guys can insert your USB drives right there. Um, and you have a power cord right here. This is the power cord that it came with right here. You just plug that in right over here and you're good to go. You guys want to power this thing on with me for the first time to see, uh, see what it does? All right, let me plug it in. Hold on. All right, guys, we are plugged up. I'm going to go ahead and flick the uh, power switch on the side right here. See what happens. You see the screen turns on, light turns on. Brother animation. Oh, look at that. Look at those graphics on that screen. That looks nice right there. Sweet creations, heavenly designs, heavenly designs. Artistic inspirations. Brother. Oh, Hitachi. Modern styles. Fresh designs. Back to sweet creations. All right, so I'm gonna touch the screen one time to see what happens. Select the language, English. Okay. Set the bobbin holder to the left. Set the bobbin holder to the left. Don't know what that means. Okay. So, okay. We don't, uh, we have some work to do. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. Set the bobbin holder to the left. Don't know what that means. Okay. So, yeah, we got some instructions to read and some stuff like that. I just want to thank you guys for joining me. We have right here the Brother PE-800. Oh, guys, set the bobbin holder to the left. Remember up here, bobbin holder to the left. Aha, the needle is down. Press, the, put the needle up, raise the presser foot. In the back right here, there's a lever. Raise that and the cartridge of the embroidery unit will move, keep your hands, etc., away from the cartridge. Okay. Wow, look how that thing travels. That's a lot of travel. I wanna see that again, hold on. I'm gonna turn the machine off and on again so you guys, you guys can see that again, that was pretty cool. Turn it back off. All right, turn it back on. That was a lot of travel. You can tell that this machine covers a whole lot more area than the other one. Look at that. Wow, it feels industrial. If you put the uh, PE-800 next to the SE-600, there is a gigantic difference. You can tell that the PE-800 is definitely the big brother. I don't know if this video is doing it any justice, but you can definitely see the size difference, especially if I like put my hand on this one, right? Put my hand on the top of this one, but then I go over here and look, this one is way more meatier. I like, look, I can barely get my hand around this part of it. Just to give you guys a like, like a size comparison versus I'm palming this, you know? I can palm this. Look at the handle, this handle right here. Look at this handle. It's like huge, huge handle. This machine's also heavier. It's a really, really big difference, guys, just to give you guys a size comparison. Um, from front to back right here, 
like I can't even look at that from front to back. All right, but if I go over here, well, I guess that's big too. <laughs> that's big too, so uh, yeah. Um, but this one is way longer. It just feels beefier. The arm is bigger. It just feels a lot beefier, guys. I'm excited. I'm really, really excited. We got a bunch of different toys to play with, a bunch of different options, uh, a lot of things that we can do now. And um, now I can answer the question with a, with a definite understanding of when somebody asked me, which one do you like better? And I'm still gonna say that the SE600 is very, very good for the value because it's not only an embroidery machine, you have to also remember that it is also a sewing machine. This one is strictly for embroidering, but this huge five by seven area, I'm looking at the hoop right there, this huge five by seven area lets you embroider large designs as long as, as well as do applique. So that's something to highly, highly consider. But um, if you wanna purchase either of these machines or both of these machines, the link is down in the description below, guys. I'm really, really excited. Um, it's, we ended up the year great with a new truck for the channel. And now we got a new addition to the creative family, guys. I can't wait to make a whole bunch of different stuff and show you guys how to use this thing, guys. If you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. Thank you. All right, guys, let's open up the rest of our stuff. This right here, I actually already opened on another video, but that video is probably not going to be edited. Um, it should have been up by now, but it was like after we came back from the uh, festivities in New York, if you guys saw that video. If you didn't see that video, which most of you probably didn't, go back and watch the video of the ball dropping and the whole thing where we went down to New York and Times Square. Anyway, that was in, supposed to be in one of those videos, but I didn't edit it yet. I'll probably edit it and throw it up late, but hey. This um, is a fuel cap cover, because the Jeep, right, the Jeep, um, has comes with just a hole and the fuel cap is right there. It's not covered. So I wanna deter people from, cause somebody can actually just walk up to your Jeep, unscrew your fuel cap and like compromise your vehicle. So I want to put a cover over top of, of that part. So this is a gas cap cover for the Jeep, which we will be installing um, at a later date. I'm not gonna do that right now. And what else do we have here? Oh yeah, this next one is something easy that we can install on Jeep right away. Um, I think I know what it is. Shoot. Gotta open it caveman style. All right, yeah, I think this is exactly what I think it is. And what it is, is the Jeep has this big antenna on it. And I think that's one of the first mods that people do with their Jeeps. But we're gonna do a review on this and I'm gonna see if when I install this thing, if I get some good um, reception or if the reception goes bad. This is a new antenna for the Jeep. It's very, very short. It's very, very sleek. I love it. I can't wait to put it on because the Jeep has this big tall antenna. But just stay tuned for that video, guys. It's coming up real soon. Um, probably this weekend or something like that. Um, we're gonna install this on the Jeep and we're gonna do a review. We're gonna turn on the radio before it, before we put it on, flip through a few channels and see, actually, how can I do that without getting demonetized? Yeah, I'll turn on the radio, see if I get a re reception, put this on and see if I get the same reception. So we'll see. All right, now this, some miscellaneous is, cause you know we're always ordering stuff on Amazon, stuff that we need from around, for around the house and stuff like that, so. Let's see what this is. All the description, all the links to this stuff is gonna be in the description. Oh look, two pack of toothpaste from Amazon. Uh, hand uh, brace for me typing at work. Um, when I hit the keys too hard, my fingers start to hurt. So I went and got this and I'm gonna start typing consciously, hitting the keys softer. Let me try this thing on real fast. Try this thing on real fast and see if it fits, because if not, it's going back. Hmm, how do I put this thing on? All right, so this is for the right hand. 
goes in like this. It fits, great. Tighten it up and boom. Oh, oh yeah, I like it, I like it. We'll be using this, yeah, dope. So if you guys work in a job where you type a lot and stuff like that, and it's like reversible, I think. Oh, shoot. If you work in a job where you type a lot, then this will be perfect for you. Um, might want to try this out. Just like this. See how it looks right here. Put your thumb through here. Come over here. Use the noise from the microphone. Like that. Boom. Bring it around. And you got wrist protection. It just feels like the pressure on my wrist feels great for typing. And then when I come home, I type more because I'm editing these videos and I'm playing around online. Oh, I'm so happy I got this thing. Um, what else is in here? Just some literature. And last but not least, all you guys should have this, especially if you're in the tech. This is a double crap, a double pack. It's a double crap. A double pack of Velcro straps. I buy these things all the time. These are to wrap up wires right here. Um, oh, look at that. So you take your wire, you wrap it up, and then you like, you know what I mean? Let me see if I can show you guys. I need the sample, one second. All right, so I got this wire right here, right? Put this little strap. Um, somewhere on a wire, like on the edge or something like that. Keeps on getting stuck to this. Put it on the edge. Boom. Just like put it through this little hole right here. It comes with a little tab, put it through there. I'll put the links for this down in the description. And now, when you roll up your wire, all your wires can stay neat and tidy. You just wrap this around like this. And now your wires are together. All right, so product links to the description if you want in the description if you guys want to buy some of these i got a bunch of wires you guys know with a bunch of electronics you got a bunch of wires all over the place so this is a 50 pack 50 pack 100 i can wrap up 100 wires and organize my my little workspace and um keep everything neat and organized all right so that's it for the unboxing i actually got something else over there let me go get it all right put this over here this, what I think it is, is organization for my vinyls, all right? And this is gonna come in handy because prior to having this, all I did was sit my vinyl to the side, like in like a cardboard box or something. But this right here, look, look at it, look. Shows you on the package. See that? It's a rack that you can sit your vinyls in. Let me open one up so, to, so I can demonstrate to you guys real fast. If I can get it open. Ugh. I should always have like a knife sitting like right here. All right, let's rip it open. Caveman style, it's two of them in there. I got two of them in here. So this is one. And let me see, it's like this. Let me see if I can put it together without the instructions. Got these little clips right here. I just bend. Yeah, that bends. And this bends. But I don't know how it goes together. So yeah. Um, this interlocks like so. Okay. Lock these little things together. So these things have these little tabs on them right here. And the tabs go in to these slots right here, but one goes up and one goes down like that. But if you put that top part on, it's hard to get the second part on. So you gotta like do that. And then you gotta do this one like that. And, and that one, then we gotta take that back out because this one didn't go in, shoot. See, all right, all right. So uh, my memory card was full, so half of that I didn't get. So like I was saying, guys, this thing locks in here. Like, wait, actually goes this way. 
these things lock in together. If you guys can see, make sure this is uh, focused in. All right, they lock, they lock in together like so, but all of them have to go in kind of like the same time. And one goes up and one goes down, so down, and you line them all up. And when you line them all up, they can all click in in the right order. This one has to be lined up correctly. Boom, this one has to be. All right, boom, got them all lined up together. Oh, shoot. All right, cool. Cool. And now I just slide in. Cool, got them all lined up, right? And then it goes like this. And you take the base, sit it down here, sit it on here, all right? And then you just push that down and that locks that in. Top part, same thing. Get this top part right here. This is a good design. Whoever made this, this is like really dope. I can't wait to rate it on Amazon and give them like five stars because this is dope. Very, very handy, useful thing. And now you got something to put your vinyl in. You guys see what I'm talking about? Put the vinyls in there. Let me go get some vinyl, show you guys. All right, so now you got some vinyl rolls. You just boop, boop. Sweet. I am loving this. Organized, dope. You can hang this thing on a wall because it's got like the little holes in the back right here. Um, well, you can't see it. Right here, it's got two holes. It's got two holes up here and it comes with these little wall screws right here. You guys know the wall screws I'm talking about. And yeah, you can have a vinyl holder. That is dope. Product links down in the description below if you guys wanna purchase these. Very, very cheap and it keeps your stuff organized. I like it, I'm in love with it. All right, all right guys, that's it for today. It's your boy, Alan Wade. We went from the PE, the SE600 to the PE800 to some miscellaneous things from the, for the truck that we got. Now we have some organizers to help organize our vinyls. That's it for the day, guys. Like, comment, share the videos, and stay tuned because that's not it. We're not done yet, guys. Um, all this stuff is helping, gonna help shape our new year and give us plenty of content to create. There's plenty of stuff to uh, be creative with and um, aid and help keep everything organized and things like that. So if there's anything that you like, don't forget, Use my Amazon links down in the description below. I am an Amazon affiliate. And any, anytime you use my link, I get a percentage and it helps the channel out a lot. Don't forget to visit alanaway.com. Buy yourself some channel merch, help support the channel. And also visit cloverkeyshop.com to buy yourself a clover key. Very, very dope invention. Um, follow me on Instagram at adubproductions. And I'll talk to you guys on the next one. Peace. It up while I listen to the rest when you're rocking with the best, baby. Oh,